Well, good morning. Top of the morning to you. So today is um, the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. And it's uh, 2023. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. So I bought this Sagilent generator. This is a uh, SDG 1032X. And I'm not even remotely pleased with this piece of equipment. Along with a festival of other problems I have. Uh, one of my biggest problems is that when you turn the rotary encoder, it skips. And everything I'd read said that uh, you need to update the firmware. Okay, that's fine. But I just got this the other day. Well, when I was digging through the box, I noticed that this, this unit is very old. It was calibrated and probably built in 2021. So this has been sitting for a, a year and some change, almost two years. That's not cool. And uh, just like really add insult to injury, I looked at a video online where the guy was complaining about the exact same thing. But his machine had the firmware updated and his video was a year old. So I'm not pleased about that. So what I did was I went to the Sagilent site, found the firmware, and downloaded it onto, uh, well this is like the third or fourth USB drive I've downloaded it to. This thing's very picky about USB drives and it's very sluggish when you put them in. So it seems like the bigger USB drives um, really send this thing, just freak it out or stall it or I don't know what's going on. So this is a 2 gig USB drive. When the hell was the last time you seen a 2 gig USB drive other than maybe in your junk drawer in the kitchen or maybe a box of cereal. So they need to, somebody needs to get with a program here. So we're going to update the firmware on this. So you, um, you press the utility button, boink, and system. And it's got, what is that? Uh, maybe page two. Uh, back to page one. Well, it's there somewhere. There it is, firmware update. So it'll show you, so the C drive, is on board. That's some memory on board the machine. And I don't know if this is a zero or an O. We're going to say O because they never used letters. And here comes the wind to screw over my video. So keep in mind that this thing is very sluggish. And make, you know, turn the thing and wait a little bit. It's very annoying. So I made a Sagilent folder here. The other way. And I'm going to go ahead and punch the uh, rotary encoder button here. You could hit browse. So that takes you into that folder. Underneath that folder is a folder. So I hit, and underneath that folder is another folder. And underneath there is this file. This is the ADS file. And it has the version cleverly put on there. So the current version at this point in time. The last uh, digits are 33R, which I assume is Rev3. So I'm just going to hit the encoder. It says it's updating, and the USB drive is flashing wildly. And I'd read that this takes a while, and there are a couple of reboots, and don't get too excited. This uh, updating firmware in the field thing always really just worries me to no end. Over the years I've bricked a couple things and it wasn't because of anything stupid I did unless you want to say well that's your fault for updating the firmware. So it rebooted once. That's not too horrible. The USB drive still flashing wildly. It stopped. There was a little flicker. Now the nervous part comes. Maybe I'm just a nervous Nelly. Watch pot never boils. Or no good deed goes unpunished. There's another reboot. Okay, we're doing pretty good. There were supposed to be a couple reboots. There was a little flicker there. So it probably loads the firmware and updates it and then well, there was a click. Another click and we're up and running. 
So we go back to utility, we hit system, and somewhere here, this, this display is none too bright out in the real sun. USB drive is connected. How about we disconnect that? There's no eject button, so it doesn't have a... Power settings. So on page two of this, you hit system info, and there it is, uh, 33R3. Go back to waveforms. So let's see. Waveforms, we want to sine wave, so let's see if this fixes it. Nope. Nice skipping, way to go. If I had to guess, here comes the wind. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. So if I had to guess, I'd say that this is probably a piece of crap hardware for the encoder. It's too bad, I really want to like this, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a fourth as small as my other one. It just sips electricity. It has a ton of features, but if you can't even, you know, if you can't even get the basics down, why bother? Don't wow me with a bunch of bells and whistles. It doesn't blow my skirt up. Anyway, so this video is really kind of a document to have a nice little chat with Sagilent that will probably go nowhere because all companies want nowadays is they just want the frickin' money. They don't care about the customers, and they certainly don't care about the devices. You know, to me, uh, a low-cost function generator is 100 bucks. This was uh, 350 And uh, as you can see, let's see here, utility, system... Where was that? System info. So you can see here, even though counting the time, I just rebooted it here. I've had this on seven times. This thing, the the paint hasn't well. I was gonna say the paint hasn't dried, but after sitting in a box for two years, it's probably plenty dry. Anyway, angrily yours. Have a groovy day. Take it easy.